Identification, Section 820.60. Identification of product is almost always done through a part numbering system. Part numbering is so common that it is unlikely you will find anyone who is not familiar with one system or another. However, part numbering may not be as simple as it seems. It's definitely worth discussing key elements of part numbering and common mistakes when establishing a system. When establishing a part number system or dealing with product changes, it is important to remember the first and foremost reason for part numbering is to establish a unique identification for the material. If anything is changed on a part which changes its form, fit, or function, the part number may need to be changed or altered so that the material can be differentiated from the original part. This is a common problem when dealing with products that have software or firmware associated with them and the organization wants to offer the product with multiple configurations.